Hello, this is Norbert, KB4WK, and uh, today I want to give you an update on my satellite tracking project. This is the one on the QST magazine from January 2014, which I have, have here. Uh, this is the one uh, by Mark Spencer, Whiskey Alpha 8, Sierra Mike Echo. Uh, I wanted to make a video of the actual build process of the board but I quickly realized that I don't have the equipment to do so, like a good camera that I can take a good zoom, uh, tripod or stand or something to hold the camera in place. So I gave up and I just went ahead and built the board. And today I want to show you the, the results and give you some pointers. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to post your questions below. So this is the finished board here that I went ahead and assembled. Um, first advice I have for you is that you go ahead and get a good solder station. Um, I got the parts and there were some tiny ones in there and I quickly realized I needed something better to do that job. So I did some research and ended up getting a Heiko. This is the FX888D. Um, very, very nice unit. I highly sure recommend your board it. is clean. Um, um, take all your parts and classify them best you can. Make sure you have all the parts. Um, take your ESD precautions, uh, make sure uh, you're properly grounded, you have like a ESD, e ESD mat here and uh, make sure you have all your tools handy. Uh, for this build I started with all the small parts first, all the, the, one, the, the smaller ones and I started from the center going towards the outside of the board and uh, makes it much more easier as you can see we have some tiny ones in, in here right there in between the, the switch and this header so if you mount those then you basically won't have space to mount the tiny ones in between so again, start with the small ones first, then do the larger ones. Um, the board comes with a diagram. And again, this is very in intuitive. Very, even if you never done it before, you or the S and D parts I use the the same tip that came with the iron. You can see here, this is um, uh, like like a small chisel tip. Um, I believe there's one that is a bit larger than this one. But this one worked just fine for the SMD parts. Let's say we're, we're putting one here. So th what I did is that I put a, um, you know, like thin the pad a little bit. Then came in with my tweezers took the part, place the part in there, right? And then you're gonna touch, quickly touch the part and the, the solder that you just put in there to hold it in place. Then I turn the board around and, and I, now I don't need the twister, right? The, the part is, is in place. So I just took uh, one hand holder, holding my, the solder with one hand and then came in, and then touched the pad and the part and quickly put some solder in and out and it should flow, you should have a nice um, uh, solder. Uh, let's see if you can see that one right there. Then I turn it up the other way and the, the one that we, that we tack in place, we finish that one. We put more solder and uh, you know make sure that it has a, a good amount of solder and that is in place 
Um, you can see here, this one didn't come out that bad. Believe me, I don't have a lot of experience doing this kind of uh, work. Uh, I started with the small ones and then I, I moved to the larger ones. And again, it's very, very intuitive. Uh, let me show you here real quick. The, the board comes with, the, with this diagram. And I'll show you, for example, you have your IR2104. So right here, here it is. IR2104, right there. And you have your 0 0.01 capacitors right here. So here they are, 0 0.01. You have your MOF, MOSFETs right here, those four. And as I said, very intuitive. As you can see here on the board, um, see that white line? Well, you look at the part, the part has like a white or like a silver line. So you just align those two and that's it. Um, all the, um, there's a few small ones here. I mounted the the headers here for the XB. Um, then I did the switches, um, the PIC that comes with the bore right here in the middle. Um, there is a power. You can take some power here for a preamp. Um, very straightforward. Not a lot, a whole lot of parts. Uh, You'll see that once you put a few, you you get some speed and it'll be uh, much easier. Um, see, make sure everything's clean. I'm missing some connectors here for the motors and the potentiometers. I'll do those later. Once I put this this board in the box, uh, and then I will figure out how those go. Uh, one of the parts we bought, we purchased, was the XB, which I have here. Um, the XB, um, a small module that that is like a serial serial port via um, 2.4 gigahertz. So it's like a Wi-Fi module here. And again, see the, the shape of the XB right here. Let me show you. The shape of the XB down here matches this, this, this line here on the board. So you just uh, basically place it there, right? And you just press down and there's your XB. So I bought two of those and the other one goes on a USB adapter connected to your computer so um, they're going to connect and um, the connection is wireless between the computer and the system so very very neat um, I'll, I'll see if I can do another video showing how to set up the XB and how it works so um, I hope you like this video Again, sorry that I wasn't able to record the actual build process, but I think it came out good. Uh, don't forget to put your your questions, your comments below, and thanks for watching.